my power or just look for a hiding spot or both where are they hello hello anybody there Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Shit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car! Always remember this moment. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. 
Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. I keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights off. Okay, I need to get dressed now. But Julie knows a pop. Supplies are endless in the evening by the morning they'll be gone. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, he never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. you have a heavy heart. I can feel it Was Rachel that popular with everybody here? She blended like a chameleon. Clearly more than I knew. Or wanted to know. You knew that she wanted to go to Los Angeles with you. Then where is she? Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl-on-girl -girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh my god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we... we were kids here. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, I, I mean Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on.
I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Now for the mother's milk. That message wasn't for Joyce or Chloe. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? <sighs> Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. That's what I call pancakes. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Seeing you again? 
Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Nothing to see here. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military pad. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Such wrong. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Worst hacker ever. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Try again. 
No way. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Nope. No way, Max. Stop. Stop.